bringing health information warmly and enjoyably. This is the Pill Muse channel. I'm a pharmacist who loves turning everyday health questions into something a bit more understandable. Let's talk about something almost everyone has experienced. You skip your morning coffee, and by lunchtime your head is pounding. Why does this happen? Is it really withdrawal? Or is your brain just throwing a tantrum? Let's break it down. Number 1. What caffeine does to your brain When you're awake, a natural compound called adenosine builds up in your brain. It's like your brain's sleep pressure. It makes you drowsier the longer you're awake. Caffeine works by blocking those adenosine receptors. When it's in your system, adenosine can't do its job so you feel more alert, focused, and just awake. But if you're drinking caffeine every day, your brain starts to notice. And it adapts. Number 2. How your brain adapts to daily caffeine Here's where it gets interesting. Because caffeine keeps blocking adenosine, your brain responds by making more adenosine receptors. It's basically trying to balance things out. Like, hey, I'm not getting enough of this sleepy signal, so I'll just build more receptors to catch what I can. This is why over time your regular cup of coffee may start to feel less effective. Number 3. Why skipping coffee gives you a headache So now imagine you've built up extra adenosine receptors, but suddenly you skip your usual caffeine hit. All that adenosine has more receptors to bind to, and it floods your brain. The result? Your blood vessels dilate, blood flow increases, and... Hello, headache. You may also feel extra tired, foggy, even a bit irritable. Your brain's chemistry is literally in withdrawal. Number 4. How long it lasts Caffeine withdrawal usually kicks in 12 to 24 hours after your last cup. Peaks around 24 to 48 hours and most people feel better after about 2 to 5 days. The most common symptoms? Headache, fatigue, low mood, brain fog, and sometimes even nausea. Number 5. How to prevent or manage it. Here's how to avoid the worst of it. A don't quit cold turkey. Try cutting back gradually. Like one less cup a day. Stay hydrated. Dehydration can make headaches worse. Try switching to decaf or herbal tea to keep the routine without the caffeine. If you really need to function, a small caffeine dose, like half a cup, can help smooth the process. Caffeine isn't bad. In fact, it's even used in medications like Excedrin for tension headaches. But daily dependence can lead to a cycle that's tough to break. If skipping coffee gives you a headache, now you know. It's not just in your head. It's brain chemistry at work. Thanks for watching all the way through. Stay healthy, stay informed, and I'll be back soon with more pharmacist-approved tips and imagery made just for you. You can explore alternate visual versions of this content over on my Patreon. Check the pinned comment for the link. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on the notification bell. It really helps me keep creating high-quality content that supports your health.